All right. Towards energy coming towards you. I have the seven of swords coming towards you. The seven of swords coming towards you. Taurus, who's doing what, baby? What's going on here? Let me get some clarifiers. We're going to clarify with the Mythic Tarot. We're going to go back to old school, the Fountain Deck and the Mythic Tarot. So coming towards you, the Seven of Swords could be a, a fire sign. Ooh, if you're involved with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus. Or a very fiery person, an individual that is very self-confident, very self-assured. But I'm going to say in this case, rather on the controlling side. So it could be your boss. It could be your relationship. Somebody's being very controlling and they're being rather low vibrational. And uh, we're going to say be very careful about this because with the Seven of Swords energy, there's some manipulation underfoot. There's some... Uh, you know, not telling you the complete truth, some subterfuge here. We're going to see what this is really all about. Uh, you're bringing Ten of Swords energy, so it's like you already know there's been some backstabbing going on. You already know there's been some backstabbing going on, and they have been supposedly your partner with that Three of Pentacles. Um, and with the Six of Swords, you already know that it's time for you to be out. It's time for you to be gone. Okay, you know that it's time for you, even though it's hard for you to leave, you know that it's time for you to leave the situation. If it's a new job you need, if it's a different relationship, if whatever the situation is, the friendship, you know it's time for you to be out. With the magician being the obstacle energy, you're not sure that you can manifest the exit stage left. Um, and you're not with the eight of cups, potentially, you know, you need to leave the situation behind, but you're feeling powerless in order to leave it behind. And, uh, everybody's telling you to be full of hope and full of joy and full of da, 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 da. But you like, I ain't feeling the hope and the joy and the wish fulfillment here, boo boo. I ain't feeling it. I ain't with that. Right. You're just not there. What is going to help you overcome this? That Eight of Swords energy, recognizing that you are simply trapped because it is within your mind. That you need to see the fact that you need to get it within your head and in your heart. That Three of Wands energy, that, that help is not only on, on the way, but that the escape is right around the corner. And with this King of Swords, you have to be fair to yourself. Be fair to yourself. Live your own truth, speak your own truth, be your own truth. That's what I'm getting from this for the month. It's time for you to be fair to yourself. It's time for you to exude your truth. It's time for you to really, um, it's time for you to really step into taking control of your life. Take control of your life, take control of your thoughts, take control of your speech, Take control of your existence. Take control of what you're manifesting. If you're still stuck in this, I can only have this person, or I'm stuck here because of financial reasons, or I'm stuck here because we've got a kid, or I'm stuck here because I don't think I can find another job. Understand that all of that, I'm stuck here because it's honestly you that's stuck there. It's not them. Do you see what I'm saying? They are not the ones that are keeping you there. They're not the ones that are keeping you there. Okay? So you've got to go on and recognize that it's you that's keeping you in this position. Okay? It's you that's keeping you there. And, and this is not, I'm not writing you. What I'm saying to you is this, is you change your thought life, change your speech life, change your change up your manifestation game. Change up, if you really want to change, you be the change. You be the change and stop looking outside because only you are going to be able to make the change. The outcome or advice is the Akashic Record card. Now, I'm going to tell you what that signifies to me. All of your answers are in 
your Akashic Records. All of your answers are in unlocking all the areas that you have in the past been victorious in. And when you can unlock that past and figure out what is it in your past, it could be this lifetime, it could be previous lifetimes. What is it in those lifetimes that have kept you where you're at right now? That have put you in this position right now and it's time to heal it. Yep, it's time for you to find some peace. So this, the four swords energy though is telling me, you need to go off and you need to do your meditation. Y'all are going to get tired of me saying meditation, child. Y'all going to get sick of that. But uh-uh, I'm going to keep saying it till the cows come home, okay? And even after that, it's time to meditate. It's time to get with yourself by yourself and deal with yourself, Taurus. You got to let them sit in their own crap because they're stealing your joy. They could potentially be stealing your money. They're stealing your peace and they're manipulating and controlling your life. And if you're not careful, you're going to get in so deep you can't get out. Well, I shouldn't say that. You're going to get in so deep that it's going to be extremely difficult to get out. It's not that you can't. It's just going to be difficult, even more so than it is now. Okay? Let me see. Um, hold on. We're going to pull... We're going to pull a Moonology Oracle card. Let's see what we get from this. I should have brought some energy cards down there. You are good enough. Full Moon in Virgo. Now, I'm going to tell you what that means to me. You are good enough. Full Moon in Virgo. That says to me that, right, we were just talking about this. You have the ability to get out of the situation that you're in. You have everything within you that you need to utilize to uh, activate that energy, activate your power, and get out of the situation that you're in. Virgos are planners. Make your plan. Virgos will, they're not, they might not be the planner planners, but they'll be like, you tell them, okay, I want to do X, Y, Z. And they'll be like, great, we got to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G in order to get you there, so let's get it. Right, they come up with the methodology to get out of the situation that you're they're in. So tap into that Virgo Earth energy, and don't just sit there and say I'm stuck and be bullheaded about it. No pun intended, but actually say this is how I got to get out of it, and allow your higher self to minister to you so that you can say, okay, this is this is what this pain, this particular pain, is what is uh, I've been using to serve my, me, right? It's serving some part of me that then actually needs to be dealt with. So that actually needs to be healed. Once that gets healed, you can enact your plan. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. You have it within you. You just got to tap into it. You got to figure out what it is that unhealed part in you that is keeping you stuck. Taurus, what is the unhealed part in you that's keeping you stuck? And heal it, right? Get it healed up. Work with somebody. Get it healed up. Meditate. Get it healed up. Deal with it. Acknowledge it. And get that healed up. Okay, Taurus? That's what I have for you for the month of August.